Hello guys, welcome back to the PixelR Easy Graphics training videos. Uh, this is the third video of the Kunaki um, training videos. This is the last set of, of uh, training videos uh, for this entire package, but this is the third video of the Kunaki set. Okay, there was the Kunaki in the uh, I mean the disc uh, box uh, graphic. Uh, tutorial that was the first one we did uh, the graphics on the box the outer box and then there was a second video where we did the insert and I got the insert template and we created that that's the little piece of paper that goes inside with all the description of the video or whatever you like inside the box and this is the third video this is where we do the actual disk graphics okay and I have a specially made template for you that I uh, use and uh, that I modified for this uh, for pixel R so you guys can use it so let's get right to it if you're not there already go to pixelr.com okay and then go to open uh, pixel R editor and click on that okay and then we're gonna open image from computer click on that and then we're going to let's see I think I put the file on the desktop so this file is in a different place because I modified it it's on the desktop Here it is, DVD disk template, PXD file, open. You'll have all this in a big folder, okay? So I did everything in red so it's easy to uh, uh, decipher between the plain background and the uh, template, okay? The template looks just like a, like a CD or DVD disk, okay? You see everything and here's where it has company name, phone number, and the URL this black box here. Let me explain what everything is. Okay, All the area around here of course is the red area is the area you do not want to put any graphics in because they'll get cut off. It's your, it's your template, your outline there. Okay, When you print your, your artwork here you want to make sure and have that turned off. Okay, You don't want that there. You don't want any of that stuff coming out. You want it to be just like that. Okay, so take out the red part. So there's no bleed or anything of that red area in there. Okay. Um, in the layer section over here on the right, I have everything laid out for you. Okay. The template starts out like this. Let me turn everything off and then I'll turn it all on one by one as I explain. Okay, the template started out like this a JPEG. Okay, and what I did was. I recreated the graphic parts for you in PixelR. Okay, so there'll be layers uh, to work with. So all you have to do is change what's on each layer. Okay, so right here is a blank white layer. I put that first on top. Okay, and then here is the outer layer I recreated that shows you the parameters of what you need to stay inside of. All right. So if you want an image to go on your disk, then you need to place it on the layer that's in between the red um, parameters and the white area. So I'll show you that right now. Let's go to File, Open Image, and we'll look on my desktop. I have an image I can put on there, this one. Put Open, and then what we'll do is we'll go to Edit, um, select all and now I'm going to get the uh, select tool here and it turns into a pair of scissors I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to press control C which is copy you see the word copy then I'm gonna come back over here on this file and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on this white layer here and press control V which is paste all right so now it pasted my image in there. Now I can come back to this and just close it. Do I want to save changes? No. Okay, now that I have this image here, I can go to Edit, Free Transform, click and drag it, and I can actually put her here or here like that. Okay. 
there, somewhat fairly big. It's okay if the money gets cut off a little bit. You see most of it. So I click off of it and it says, do you want to apply? Yes. Okay. So now I'll come back to my layers over here. And she's in the right place. So when I print, I want to make sure that's gone. She'll come out pretty much in the right spot. Okay. Now the company name. Now because this is a pixel R file that I'm giving you, you could actually take the text tool, have this um, layer highlighted here, and now come back and actually change this text here from where it's, I put in company name, and you can change it to whatever you want. Phil, the money man. Okay, now I can change the size back down and the color to, let's say, that dark green that matches all my other artwork. Really dark there, right down here, money green. I put OK. I can change the font to whatever I want. OK. There you go. OK, so turn that off. The white area of the picture, I didn't delete. Um, I have two choices. What I can do is, there's two easy ways to do it. I can grab the magic wand and select that and then delete it the way I've done in the other tutorials and then fix that part there or I can go even easier. Let me deselect that. I can go one even easier and that is to grab the eyedropper tool on this layer select the exact color from that's around her in that white box. Come back to the original white layer that I laid in between there and drop the paint bucket in there and paint that layer so it matches exactly. See now all that white matches the white from her image. Now let's take a look at that. That's a little bit easier. See, it's not so bad if I want to keep it white. If I want to make this background a different color, um, then I would remove the white around her and then put another color behind her, of course. Okay, but um, yeah, if you've watched the previous tutorials, um, I show you exactly how to get rid of all that white area at least twice, okay, in the other tutorials. Um, okay, so now I can put in the phone number. Since she's there now, let me click on this get the text tool, click in there, change the color also to money green, OK, change the size down, a little bit smaller, put OK, move tool, and I can move the phone number right there, line it up right here with the end of this, OK, now you get the point. OK, move on up, we can go here, we can turn on the web URL, text, click on it, oops, okay, that accidentally, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why it created, let me see, I want the web, I highlighted the, the layer there, let's see, okay, I clicked on, there we go, I clicked on top of it, I just must have missed it. Okay, change the color to also we'll go dark black or dark green. Same same difference, pretty close. Uh, put OK. Layer styles. I'm gonna put outer glow around her because the text runs into the girl. I'll put an outer white glow around her. OK. Make the size bigger. Okay, there's a lot of OKs in there. Let's bring it down, put it about there. So it's visible on both sides, on top of her, and over here. So we're good in that department. And this layer up here you can just throw away, because I put, I put this layer just to show you, you replace with an image. That's If you weren't doing a background image, or if you had something graphic in the background, you could put an image from your company right in here. So we can uncheck that and we can save this without that. I'm going to turn off that layer there 
and I have what I need right here so I'm going to save it file save now I can change this to JPEG put OK DVD test save it in my desktop or name it whatever you like press save let me close that out double click on it and I'll show you what we got there it is that's what we can print to go right on our disk okay it falls right into um, the template that I use with Photoshop okay this template here down here the original one I gave you it's the exact template that I use for Photoshop and this is pretty much the identical technique that I use in Photoshop to create these graphics and then send them over to Kanaki to uh, print um, my discs okay you can print them right out of um, of your printer at home if you have um, the software that prints uh, or a printer that's capable of printing directly onto disk some of you may have that uh, works out pretty well all right that's it for this tutorial um, make sure and uh, keep an eye out for this uh, template inside your folder that comes with these tutorials and always remember to turn off uh, these te uh, template layers okay um, the insert the reason why I didn't do the insert layer um, I mean the insert layers yeah on that template this exact same way like rebuild it for you using this uh, pixel R file is because the insert is pretty can pretty much be any way you like it it doesn't have to follow any kind of template the only thing you needed were, were the preamp the parameters of the outside that's all you really needed uh, the Kanaki template itself, the box template, the file is um, way too big, too many megabytes for pixelr.com to handle. Um, when you save uh, with so many layers, it would save literally for. Um, I tried saving it and it, it literally took like 45 minutes and it was still saving, so I had to put a stop to it. Um, so we went around it, we went about it a different way. The technique that I show you works fine the only problem is is that when you save it you can't save it with all the layers because the file is way too big that's the only disadvantage other than that I mean if you were using that same technique in Photoshop you could save it and uh, you'd be good with all the layers so uh, hopefully you you understand the comparisons between uh, pixelr.com and Photoshop I've been trying to throw them in here uh, since the beginning and uh, I think by learning with me here in these tutorials that you have a pretty good handle on on probably both softwares both Photoshop and Pixelr okay so feel confident in yourself if you happen to get even a copy of Photoshop Elements which is the cheaper version I think it's under a hundred dollars um, you could jump right on and uh, do this kind of artwork with Photoshop Elements as well alright guys take care hope you enjoyed the tutorials see ya